Hey guys, it's Leslie here at Hatville Country. Um, it's nice to meet all you guys. I just wanted to make a quick little video. Uh, we got 10 pounds of fresh blueberries out of Michigan. And we got a great deal, $26.50 for a 10 pound box. So I am, of course, leaving some fresh out for us to eat on. But we are big smoothie drinkers in our house, so we freeze the remainder of them. And the easiest way to do that is rinse all of your berries off, let them soak, rinse them, lay them out on paper towel to dry, and then you put them on a sheet pan with parchment paper and you par-freeze them. So what that means is you just get them frozen enough where when you go to put them in your bag to freeze them, they're not going to stick together, and they're easy to just pour out into your smoothie cup. So here is my bag that I have um, already got sealed on one end. I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to seal it, and I'll show you the finished product. Also, just um, before I show you the sealed product, it's easier just if you can scoop them off the pan with a slotted spoon. It makes them going into the bag much easier. But you can see, I mean, they're just frozen to the point where you can easily scoop them up into your bag with no problem at all. Be right back. And um, just to show you, this is how quickly the bag will seal. If you haven't purchased a food saver, I highly recommend it. Um, we purchased the one of the cheaper versions, and it has been phenomenal. So I've got my bag in here. And if you guys want a video on vacuum sealing, I can do a start to finish on that. Um, but I've just found that we have used our vacuum sealer, and it makes putting up produce so much nicer, easier. You know you have a secure finish. So I'm just going to turn this on. It's a little bit loud, so I'll pause my video, and I'll show you the finished product. So here is my finished product. As you can see, it is sealed super tightly, no air. So these berries are going to be as fresh as the day that we got them. And as you can see, I have a whole lot more to do. However, with the uh, food saver, it takes no time at all. I mean, literally start to finish 30 seconds or well to put them in the bag and get them sealed a minute per bag so you know honestly the uh, rinsing the patting them dry with paper towels and then the par freezing that's the most important part I think is par freezing any produce that you're gonna freeze so that way it doesn't stick together and it's not all bunched up like a brick of ice when you go to get it out of your bag. And it'll pour into individual pieces. You know, for us, like I said, we drink smoothies. So it really does make things a lot easier. Your berries do not get crushed using the vacuum sealer. It doesn't, you know, mash them or anything like that when they've been par frozen. So this is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. But again, if you want to see a video from start to finish of me using our food saver and the process and how easy it is to use, I'm more than happy to do a video like that for you guys. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish putting up our fresh blueberries. Again, it was nice to meet everyone. It's super late here. I think it's probably almost midnight. I've been going all day. I probably, you know, look a hot mess. But, of course, that would be my first introduction to our channel. But, um, again, my name is Leslie Hatfield. This is Hatfield Country. Thank you so much for joining us. Say hi, Scout. Hi, guys. Oh, our little Scouty doesn't feel well. So, it's been a bit of a rough couple of days. But she's hanging in there with Mama. Yeah, and I puked last night. I didn't want to take the medicine, but I be brave. Mom made me... That orange stuff. Oh, that's our scout. Ever so brave. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you again for watching our channel. Please like, subscribe, comments. We are always available for any questions that you have. Good night.